Hey guys, Tom at TPC Racing here. This is the long-awaited video on installing the TPC Racing seat angle brackets on the Porsche 992 GT3. This car right here. Totally awesome car here, and look at that. Manual transmission too. Love it. The purpose of our billet aluminum seat angle brackets is to create a seating angle very similar to the 992 Cup car that we race. This more tilted back seating position is more comfortable for the driver in competition, track driving, as well as cruising in streetcars. Before we get on with the installation, let's cover the sill area so we don't scratch it. And what we want to do is adjust our steering wheel all the way inward to give us maximum room to maneuver the seat. We'll pop this plastic cover off of the screwdriver. 17 millimeter wrench to loosen the seat belt bolt. There are four primary bolts, one at each corner of the seat. We'll be using an E12 socket. With all four seat bolts we move, we want to center the seat to the rail because we don't want the tail end of the rail to stick way out when we try to take the seat out. So this just gives us more room to maneuver the seat. We're now under the seat. We need to disconnect this yellow connector. But before that, let's follow this loom like right here, halfway through. We have to pop this plastic clip off. So now we can undo the yellow connector. So this way, when we pull out the seat, it won't be held by the cable loom. The yellow connector is as simple as pulling this black tab. As you pull this black tab away, the connector will back out. Now the seat's ready to come out. I find the easiest way is to lift the bottom and then tilt the head in and then pick it up from the bottom and carefully walk out the seat. Again, we don't want to scratch the sill nor the door panel. Be very careful, guys. We now have the seat turned over on a stable platform and we're gonna have to remove this plastic shield here. We'll pop this off, this off, and we'll pop this connector off to release the harness. Just push upward on this connector. It just comes off. And we're gonna give this one a tug to release the plastic. To remove this plastic piece, we need to remove five screws. One, two, three, four, and five. And the screw heads are on the other side, so we're gonna have to turn the seat around and carefully lift the cushion out of it. As you get around to the back, be careful. On the back side of the cushion, you have these metal clips here. You just have to uh, reach from behind and release these plastic clips. It's not a big deal, you just have to work with it. You can't see it, you have to do it by feel. With the cushion flipped over, we will gently peel back on the base lining here and just get to the head of the screw so we can remove that plastic trim piece. Just take your time. Just be gentle with it. It'll go. Once you have this liner released to the point where you can feel the head of the screws, you'll need a T20 Torx key to loosen the screws by feel. 
can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm turning the screw with my Torx key. Have all five screws out. It took about three and a half minutes per screw. Just have to be uh, persistent. Don't give up, take a break when you need. And I have this back together exactly the way that it was, no damage. I'd like to point out that these screws are actually T25, not T20, but they are not on that tight. So I did use a T20 because it was easier to maneuver in that tight space than the thicker and taller T25. With this portion of the job completed, we'll put the cushion back in place. Just have to be careful to see how these clips goes into this hook right here. We will now release the yellow connector from the plastic trim piece by squeezing these two tabs together. By squeezing them two together, we'll slide the connector away from the trim piece. Now we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to loosen this ground cable. With this wire loom now sitting loose, we can get on with installing the bracket. So we'll pull this cap off. We'll need a 13 millimeter socket to loosen this bolt and the one on the opposite side. With the bolts we move, you should be able to move the hinge freely. And now we're ready for the brackets. Your new TPC brackets will be labeled left and right. Left meaning the left hand side of the rail. So that would be this side for the left. Insert the bracket into this welded tube here. How this is machine matches the curvature of the seat shell. Same for this side. We have both brackets installed. Now we're gonna lower the seat back to the rail. Carefully, the hole should line up and we will now start the bolts. Don't tighten it, just start it with a couple of threads. Okay, we have the upper bolt started by hand. Now the factory lower bolt just started by hand. Same on both sides. Go back and forth, just tighten a little bit at a time. Make sure they're not binding. The upper bolt takes a six millimeter hex socket. Again, we have hand started it first, so it's nice and easy. We're just gonna snug it. And then we'll switch to 13 millimeter socket to tighten the lower bolt. Repeat for the opposite side. Once all four bolts are snug, we'll go around for a final tightening. Plastic cap back on. We attach ground cable. We will now secure the cable loom and the yellow connector with zip ties. We have the yellow connector secure in an X pattern using zip ties. We we'll cut off the excess. We also have one zip tie here just to keep the cables from flapping loose and one over here, total of four. So this is very secure. All right guys, we have our beautiful brackets installed, connector secured. Now we're ready to put this back in the car. Remember, head in first. Basically, reverse the procedure from taking it out. Be careful with the door sill and be careful with the door panels. Now we will reconnect the yellow connector. 
we installed the four primary bolts and the seat belt bolt and we'll be done. Okay guys, the installation was super straightforward. It took about 1.5 hour per seat, so pull this up. So this is the driving position that I want on a track. I have space for my helmet, so it's not forcing my head to point down and to look down. And for the street, I can just put it back and chill. So TPC Racing seat angle brackets, great product. Thanks for watching. I did the entire procedure without disconnecting the battery. Just remember, don't turn the ignition on during the installation process. If you turn the ignition on while the seat is disconnected, you will get a warning light, but I didn't do that. I left the ignition off the whole time. So no warning light on a dash. And I have this trim piece to give back to the customer. Everything we did is fully reversible. Thanks again for watching.